The INET Control Dashboard is a powerful tool that can help users to enhance the safety of the workplace and ensure compliance with safety regulations within the industry. To view your dashboard on INET Control, log into your INET Control account. From the landing page, select the dashboard from the top menu bar. The INET Control Dashboard provides a real-time overview of your gas detection program, including the performance index, usage and settings, alarms, and equipment. The first metric on the INET Control Dashboard is the Performance Index. This measures the overall performance of your gas detection program. It is calculated based on a variety of factors, including gas detectors used without calibrations, time spent in high alarm, gas detectors used without bump testing, gas detectors turned off while in alarm, and many more. A higher INET Control Performance Index indicates that your gas detection program is performing well and that you are actively taking steps to protect your workers from hazards. In this account, you can see that the performance index has a score of 83%. Users can understand areas for improvement by examining the factors that have reduced their overall performance index score. To do this in greater detail, click on the attention required link. We can see that in this account, instruments that have been used without calibration have reduced the performance index score by 6%. The INET Control Usage and Settings section of the dashboard provides users with information about how gas detectors are being used. In this account, there have been several alerts that have occurred within the past three months. We can see that this has been broken down into different descriptions. For example, there are 185 counts of gas detectors that have been used without a bump test in the three month period. You can change the time frame by simply clicking the drop down arrow and selecting the desired time frame from the options available. There are two ways in which we can review these alerts in greater detail. The first is by clicking on the graph icon, which in this case shows that there was a large number of instruments that were used without a bump test on the 30th of July. The second is by clicking the blue description text, which will take us to a new page. This page provides us with details of each instrument that was used without a bump test. The next section of the dashboard is the INET control alarms. This provides you with information about all the alarms that have been triggered in your gas detection program within a selected time frame. The information includes alarm date and time, alarm gas type, logged peaks, and alarm duration. Similar to the usage and settings section, these can be viewed in greater detail by clicking on the relevant blue text, which can aid in compliance requirements such as incident reporting. The final section of the dashboard is the equipment category. This section is a valuable tool for managing your fleet by providing users with a real-time overview of all the gas detectors in the fleet. This includes available upgrades, failing or marginal sensors, new instruments, delays in docking station uploads, low cylinder notifications, and more. Users can delve further into the instruments that require action by simply clicking on the description text. For example, in this account, there are 46 instruments that require a firmware upgrade. To view a list of the serial numbers that require a firmware upgrade, simply click on the blue description text. Now we can see a list of all the serial numbers that can be upgraded and we can action these directly on the page. INET Control is a powerful tool that can help users improve the safety and efficiency of their operations. We encourage you to take some time to learn about its many features and how to best use them. If you want to learn more about how to get the most out of the INET Control platform, the team at your local AirMet Scientific office are happy to help with any questions you may have.